Hey, what's up guys? Sloth King here. Today I'm going to be working on the fan shroud for my Supra. So I have a Mishimoto fan shroud that came with two Mishimoto fans and I found that the fans are just not cooling the car enough, especially when I have the AC on. It's, yeah, the, the fans are a little bit too small. So what I'm doing, I'm upgrading the fans to some Spall fans. As you can see right here, Here's my fan shroud, small fan right here, and the cutouts, as you can see, they're a little bit bigger, which is great, which is gonna be more airflow. And these fans are supposed to pull a couple hundred more CFM than the Mishimoto ones, which is great. So I think combining those two with this is going to be a, a much better upgrade setup. So. Without further ado, let's dig right into this and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing today. All right, to dive in a little bit deeper of what I have to do today to fit this spall fan onto my uh, fan shroud. This fan is a bit bigger than the supplied hole. It's about, I think it's three quarters of an inch or so bigger. So I have to go through uh, and cut out a little bit of the metal on here. I have to drill some new holes and uh, that's about it. I do have to make a new harness coming up and over, but that's gonna be pretty easy. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. As you can see, I already mocked up where the fan is going to be sitting. I have some Sharpie showing it. These are going to be really close together, which is okay. You have a couple options. You can mount it right here drill new holes in there and then just put a washer in it or you can use these mounting tabs which either is fine i guess i could just mount it on there and then ditch these these aren't really that necessary Eh, whatever the screws are probably gonna be, oh that's why i have to get new new screws and yeah i'm not gonna do that i'll just keep these that's fine so on the back of the fan usually uh i, I misplaced where my snap ring uh pliers are so I can't take that off because if I could take that off, I could take off this whole fan um, by itself and then just lay it on the metal and then trace around it. But since I can't do that, I'm going to have to be a caveman and etch it into the metal and then work around it. So my Sharpie will not fit down in here. As you can see, it's not gonna happen. So you can just grab a razor blade, go around the whole fan itself. I'm going to go on the inner edge right here. As you can see, bump up the razor blade to it and then just score it going around. So I'm gonna finish going around, I'm gonna score it and then uh, we'll be back with uh, the cutting. All right. I got both fans all mocked up. That's how close everything is going to be if you guys get these fans. I got it as close to the edge that I'm comfortable with. I also marked and traced everything. Ah, there's the line. Yeah, it's not perfect going all the way around, but it'll do. So I did change my mind about the mounting points. I am going to use these smaller ones that's already on the fan. That way, if I ever get rid of this, I don't mess up these mounting holes. Cause on some of them, I would have to like drill through and cut it. But if I just put two holes here, that's, it's not that bad. So anyway, now we go ahead and cut this out. I was going to use these, but I'm not gonna do that. I have a grinder. So I'm just going to grind through the metal and uh, yeah, we'll be back.
And then after this whole section's cut out, I'm going to just uh, take the Dremel, grind the edge down a little bit, like sand it down nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep going at this. You guys already saw what I was doing. So yeah, here we go. All right guys, a few hours later and I'm done. It's not perfect, but the holes are bigger. And uh, I also burned my fingers. When I was grinding, I touched the metal and I forgot that it was hot because I was just moving it and yep, got through my digits. Sucks. Also, who coined the term digits? I'm uh, kind of curious to know, because it's kind of dumb to say, kind of, kind of. Anyway, so last thing I need to do, I need to drill out these holes for the fan mounts, and then just uh, install it. So let's do that. All right, now let's fit our fans on. This is the bottom. Beautiful. All right, with these, I'm going to just go from the back side up. There we go. Look at that. Looks great. Well, yeah, that's about it. It's mounted securely. All I gotta do is change out these connectors on the end and uh, I will be good to go. All right guys, as you saw, I got the shroud finished. I uh, just need to uh, connect the, uh, or, um, wow, I can't speak. I just need to put the uh, new connectors on the end and then throw it back in the car. And hopefully this thing will be staying extra cool. So yeah, it took a little bit longer, actually a lot bit longer than I was anticipating. And that's just because I didn't have the proper tools to, um, to do it. I just had to grind everything. Yeah, it was a process. It took about two and a half, three hours to get done. So, and uh, you know, burn my fingers i'll keep you guys updated on how these fans perform if you want to pick up these they're not that much money uh i will have them in the description below and uh yeah so i'm gonna wrap it up for the night 
I'm gonna finish. I'll probably install this tomorrow in the car and uh, see what happens. Anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to see more videos like these. I'll catch you on the next ride. Hey guys, Sloth King from the future. Um, I just wanted to add in at the end of this video that um, I did have some extra footage that got corrupted that I was going to just review the how the fans worked. But um, yeah, it got corrupted. So anyway, um, I'm not able to like uh, go to the storage unit with the Supra, but the fans work really well, especially when I have it wired up how I want to with the the one fan um, cooling it and then the other one dedicated just for the AC. And uh, yeah, it's, it's actually really good. It cools really well with one fan. And then when the AC kicks on, it stays at a solid temperature, which is nice. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. And um, if you do get these fans, uh, they're, they're worth it. So yeah, anyway, I'll catch you later.